we can summarize our rules of exponents. And we also agree to the convention that as long as a is not equal to 0, a to power negative n is 1 over a to the nth, and a to the 0th power is equal to 1. And this should allow us to simplify all exponential expressions. To use the rules effectively, it helps to remember something known as the Sapir-Whorf hypothesis. How you speak influences how you think. And what this means is that if you read these mathematical expressions correctly, it will help you work with them. Now, part of reading mathematical expressions correctly is to identify the type of expression. So remember, the type of expression is determined by the last operation performed. So remember, an exponent is an abbreviation for a repeated multiplication. So it isn't really an operation. But computing an exponential expression requires unpacking the exponent. So this 5 to the third is really 3 factors of 5 multiplied together. So it's convenient to treat exponents as an operation that goes before multiplication or division. So if we go back to our rules of exponents, here a to the m times a to the n, well that's a product. So if you have a product, add the exponents. Here, a to the m over a to the n, that's a quotient. If you have a quotient, subtract the exponents. Here, the item inside the parentheses, we do whatever we do with that, and then we raise it to the nth power. So if you have a power of a power, multiply the exponents. Here, we have a power of a product, and that's the product of the powers. And finally, the power of a quotient is the quotient of the powers. So let's consider the simplification of something like this. So the parentheses indicate that the 5a to the second is evaluated first. The exponential a to the second is dealt with first then the result is multiplied by 5, and then the whole thing is raised to the third power. So remember, the type of expression is determined by the last operation. This is a power, and note that what it's the power of is a product. But our rules say that the power of a product is the product of the powers. So both factors are raised to the third power. So that's 5 to the third times a to the second, the whole thing raised to the third. Now we could evaluate the 5 to the third, but let's focus on this a to the second to the third. This is a power raised to a power. So we multiply the exponents. And we'll do what simplifications we can. 2 times 3 is 6. And we could also compute 5 to the third if we want, or not. So again, the last thing we do here is raise this whole mess to the fifth power. The base is the thing inside the parentheses. Since the fraction bar is a grouping symbol, we deal with the numerator and denominator first, and then divide. So this is the power of a quotient. And so we raise the numerator and denominator to the power. And note the numerator and denominator are the powers of products. So we raise each factor to the power. Now we have this x to the second to the fifth, which is a power of a power, so we multiply the exponents, and we can leave our 2 to the fifth and 3 to the fifth as they are, 
or we could multiply them out. It doesn't make a difference. And if we have negative exponents, we have negative exponents. So inside the parentheses, we are multiplying. So this is the power of a product. So each factor is raised to the power negative 4. And we have the power of a power. So we multiply the exponents. And remember, we prefer not to have negative exponents in our final answer, so we'll rewrite this a to the negative 12th as 1 over a to the 12th and simplify. Sometimes the type of operation is not completely obvious, for example, negative x to the 4th. So remember, for any real number a, negative a is the same as negative 1 times a. And so this negative x to the fourth, well, that's really the power of a product. And so for the power of a product, each factor gets the power. And in this case, because negative 1 to any power is 1 or negative 1, depending on whether the power is even or odd, we'll go ahead and evaluate that. Negative 1 to the fourth is just 1. And so our final answer is...